Hello everybody. In this video, I have a camera with the STM32 module and I have some colors and you can see the color and also I have a clock and time. We can see it here. Let's get started with this. The parts I'm using is this one. If you type this one in AliExpress, and normally the display and STM32 comes in set. So this is one of them. There's another one. The simplicity is we can just uh, plug it in. There's one more here. We can display, plug in the display uh, to the STM32 straight away. So when you go to the next page, there are many sellers. There's another one here. One more here. Uh, the library I am using is this one. I give this one in the description. They have many facilities like uh, SD card and um, recording, movie recording, everything. But I do only uh, simple uh, playback. The wiring diagram is here. 3.3 volt to 3.3 volt, ground to ground, like this. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next. 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 Last. The wiring connection is here. This side of the camera. Other side of the camera. Here. And the wires are going from here to the microcontroller. This side. And other side. And here. And I connected the ST link. the camera I'm using it got uh, 32 connection it goes in here the connection is very simple bring the cam uh, display here and put it inside here and push it in that's it and for the ST link I didn't give the 3.3 volt instead I in the USB here I connect the USB to the USB cable to supply the power Let's create a new project in the Cube IDE file, new STM32 project. So the commercial part number put F407BE. BE. This is the one. Next. And uh, I put camera. Finish. Let's zoom in and uh, click system core sys for the debug select serial wire click RCC click crystal ceramic resonator and tick the master clock output one you tick this one and uh, PA8 is selected this is for the clock for the uh, my camera and go below and select PA8 go below maximum out, output speed is very high now clock configuration and input frequency it changes to 8 megahertz and select this one and select this one now we change this to 168 and enter now go below here and for the MCO one Select the PL LLCLK and divide by 4. Divide by 4. So we get 42 megahertz. Now click the pinout and configuration. Select connectivity. I2C2, I2C, I2C. And go below. Pinout and uh, GPO setting. Select PB10. Uh, go below is pull up and also go up PB11 also pull up so 
both of them are pulled up and now we connect the FM FSMC for the display and select the NOR and tick the any chip select display type is LCD uh, this is A18 that's what they connected to the display so that is A18 and then select this one to 16 bits configuration parameter setting we change this one to 1 and this one to 5 this one to 0 we can close this one click multimedia select DCMI for the DCMI bits external synchro configuration parameter setting is the rising edge sorry rising edge this is active high that's all same now select the GPO setting and uh, select the first pin go below hold the shift button and select the pin so all the pin are selected make sure you selected all pins first one and shift button and this one we will select all of them now see the all of them are blinking now go below just pull down speed is very high and select the DMA setting add DCMA that's all and select the NVIC setting tick this one now these pins we, we can click outside these three pins we change this to hold the control button and click this button and this one is blinking and we change it to here like that hold the control button click this one and we put it here hold the control button we select this one we put it here this is how the the library uh, manager the, the maker they, they selected these pins and then we select uh, pb1 as a gpa output this is the backlight for the camera uh, display and also pd11 gpio output pd12 also gpio output for pd11 that's a camera reset so we hold the control sorry control and right click this one enter user label we type capital letter k Ra reset make sure the spelling is correct and enter that's all the setting we can click save click yes for simplicity I have given the code in my website link is in the description below this is the one so I have the Q by D setting here we go one by one make sure everything is correct all of them are important one this is the one we done right now so and then library I have taken the library from this website and we put the file library file there are actually um, eight files so we click the first one and then we select this name from here to here and copy it and go to QBYDE and expand this INC folder we put the INC folder right click new file and then it paste the name here and enter now this file is created and go there and copy from here until here we copy all of them select all of them copy and go to QBYDE we paste it now we can save and we can close and go there again now go back the, this one done next file we click select from here to here copy and right click new 
file and paste it here finish and then you copy from here select all of them copy and the cube id we paste it and we can save and close and then the third one there's a change here we what we do need to we need to change fmc to 18 i'll show you we click this one copy and right click this one new file and paste it finish and we select from here to here copy and then we paste it here this one we need to change this to 18 it's very important because the the display they when manufactured they made it made this pin so we can click save and we can close likewise i do everything and fast forward the video there are five more file these are going to inc folder this is going to src folder these two so i do it faster This one need to go to these two files need to go to SRC folder. After closing everything, the main .c file is there. Let's debug and see for any errors. All the files are here. Make sure we got all eight files and zero errors on one, one warning. And in the main.c file, we go back. Main.c file. We copy this in the code. So include, we copy these four lines. So we paste it in the cube ID main.c file here. And also in the user code 2, we copy from here until here copy and go to user code 2 and we paste it here we can we can save now so what's happening here is we have a data pointer that's the address in the memory and these are the pin i make it ground for the reset camera reset so backlight of the lcd display we, we have to put set and initialize the display and draw a full size rectangle and initialize the camera and config the camera and then what we do is from the display we get the address that the p data address and then we pass that address to the camera so what do is it through dma whatever the data comes it comes here in this address and then it passed back to the display so we take it and put in the display so it continuously play it so we can save all now we can upload the code click this button we can click ok yeah it's all uploaded i have uploaded the code i have a color wire here and we can see different colors and i have a time and this time we can see in the and it's moving very fast. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.